Hi, I'm Jana, and this is a really special Real Mom car tour because today we're looking at the 2024 Nissan Z Nismo. And Nissan has brought back the Nismo this year with so many enhancements to the engine, the braking, and the interior. So hang with me, and we are going to take a full tour. Under the hood, we have a three liter twin turbo V6. It's going to make 420 horsepower and generate almost 400 pound feet of torque. You're going to notice some enhancements on this front end. This is called the Grand Nose or the G Nose, and it is reminiscent of the Nissan Fair Lady from generations past. But this has also been enhanced for better performance. We have a very fine mesh honeycomb grill that's going to let you bring in more oxygen for better performance. We also have your Nismo badging in the front and this red trim that goes around the front and back of this little race car. And that's what it was to me, a little race car. I raced here, there, and everywhere, and I love it. If you were paying attention when I was at the front end and I mentioned the Genos, we now have a refreshed rear spoiler to complement that design element. So you're gonna have a wider, taller spoiler compared to the Z Performance. And this three-piece design that actually extends onto your rear fenders. So I will come in and give you a little bit closer look, but the rear bumper corners are reshaped for the Nismo, and it helps with air separation and reducing drag. And they are reminiscent, if you can tell for all my gearheads out there, of the GTR Nismo. To get in to, I guess this is a hatch. We're gonna call it a hatch. To get into the hatch here, you press under the S's, and you actually have really decent storage back here. I've got shoes and all things for filming. I did my grocery run. I went to soccer. I hauled camping chairs back here. It's really decent storage considering that this is a small two-seater. But I'll bring you in just so you can see. And I'm sure everybody's going to say, well, this probably wouldn't be your daily driver. And this is a fun car. And I get it. I'm just telling you that you, it has some decent storage, surprisingly surprisingly decent storage. And the enhancements are not just on the outside. I mentioned there's more enhancements inside. So let's go take a look. In the driver's seat, which is a Recaro racing seat with a lot of bolstering to hold you in if you were on the track. It's also lined in Alcantara, as is your door panels and your steering wheel. You have Nismo badging on your seats. You have additional red stitching on your steering wheel and a red leather insert, which is your 12 o'clock indicator. You have a fully digital driver display with your gauges here, but you also have analog gauges up top, which is your boost, turbo speed, and volt. This is a nine inch color touchscreen and it has wireless connectivity. So you don't need a cord for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You also have the ability to have a Wi-Fi hotspot in your Zenismo and we have a backup camera. You can do stuff like, can we say or select to come on? I need directions to Crabtree Valley Mall. No, I didn't, but you get the point. There's nav. Cancel. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the best part of this? You have plugins for USB, USB-C. You have your Nismo specific red start and stop button and your D mode selector. You have three drive modes in the Nismo. Standard, which is your everyday driving. Sport, and new for this year, Nissan has added a Sport Plus drive mode, which is more suitable for track use. And it's gonna give you a more dynamic racetrack tuned shift program. And it also lets you take your powertrain down faster. So since it is an electronic gear shifter, you can go into manual mode if you wanna use your paddle shifters. I'm in first gear because I'm parked, but you get the point. If you wanted to have more control over your shifting, you could use your paddle shifters. But when I was on the wide open highway yesterday, I felt like acceleration was much more smoother when I was in automatic. The paddle shifters were a little bit clunkier and there was a little bit more of a delay than I had when I was using it in automatic. The shift programming is supposed to be more responsive for performance driving if you were on a track so that you don't have to use your paddle shifters. But if you wanted to manually override it like I did and tried, you still have the option to do that. We 
are starting up and taking off in the 2024 Nissan Z Nismo. And this has been the most fun car to drive. So while I'm driving to my destination, which is about 20 minutes away, I just wanted to chat with you a little bit about the Z and about the Nismo specifically. So this is the street legal racing version, race car version, if I'm saying that correctly, of the Nissan Z, as opposed to the regular Z or the performance, it has more horsepower. So this is gonna have 420 horsepower and almost 400 pound feet of torque. It has one transmission and that is a nine speed automatic. I know that is a little bit controversial for some. They want a car like this to be in a manual and I get it. However, the way the transmission has been tuned, the acceleration is better in the automatic than when you try to use the uh, paddle shifters. But you do have, if you want to have more control over your shifting, you can pop it into manual on your electronic gear shifter and use your paddle shifters. Some of the things that make it more track tuned or that make it the Nismo, let's just go with that. Um, Nismo is for Nissan Motorsports. It's a little abbreviation in case you didn't know that, but if you're watching this video, you probably did know that because you may be a Nissan enthusiast. So here's a couple of the things that make this special. You get a lot of bang for your buck and performance for under $70,000. The MSRP on the one I'm driving is 68, I believe. It could be 68.9. Let's just round up and say 69. You're gonna have a thin honeycomb mesh grill. And this is gonna allow you to intake more air. This is gonna help you with your engine performance. Your drive modes are standard sport and sport plus and sport plus is going to give you that incredibly quick acceleration and it's tuned for also downshifting faster for track performance so the zero to so zero to 60 in sport plus is i think 3.8 seconds but i will qualify that on the screen if that's not exactly correct I did have the opportunity to do a lot of highway driving yesterday, open highway driving, and I got to experience Sport Plus for myself, and it is fun. It's peppy, it's responsive. I even um, had a passenger yesterday that wasn't, I mean, they don't really care about sports cars that much, but for good humor, I said, let's just pop it into Sport Plus and see what you think. They were so impressed. You stick to the road so your rear tires are wider than your front tires. You have a more aerodynamic grille and you also have a three-piece spoiler in the back. And all of that just aids into the aerodynamics and the performance. You also have larger brakes on the Nismo because if you're gonna go fast, you need to be able to stop fast if you need to. And the brakes are grippy. So a really good, a really good juxtaposition there in Sport Plus with your quick acceleration. So the brakes are larger. Like any sports car that sits so low to the ground, you do feel the road, you feel everything. You are connected to the road. All the bumps, I'm trying to avoid the big ones. Um, let me see what else I can tell you. I love it. I'll tell you that much. I love it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. And I really don't want, I don't want to give it back. There's a tiny bit of storage behind each seat. There's a first aid kit and there's like a little slot where you could put a purse, a bag. I have lived my life in the Z and I'm going to be devastated when they pick it up. Because my, if you are new to my channel, I will tell you that I do mostly family cars. I do about 80% family, 20% fun. And this has been the most, the most fun, the absolute, the most fun. So if you have any questions about the Z or if you wanna see more sports cars, 
uh, please leave me a comment, like, share, do all the things. That helps the manufacturers know that my audience, you know, that this car resonates with my audience. If you're still with me, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the Nissan Z Nismo. I'm sure there's a ton of things that I forgot to mention. This baby is loaded with so many terrific features, tech and spec specific to racing and being on the track. So if you're an enthusiast, go easy on me. I did the best I could. And if you want to see more fun and family car reviews, hit subscribe, drop me a message if you would like, and follow Real Mom Car Tours. I am on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and I even have a website that I occasionally update, realmomcartours.com. And let me know in the comments what you would like to see me tour next. Thanks for watching.